when you have conviction in what it is that you believe in, you should never apologize to the mob. If you actually believe it, if you know that it is true, if you know that it is right, or that's just your position. In today's culture, definitely in, in America, if it doesn't fit a particular slant from a political standpoint, there are going to be people that call you out of your name, that wish evil upon you and demand that you be stripped away from everything it is that you rightfully earned. They don't care what you've done before because what they do is they demand allegiance to cult. And if you don't bow down, then it is what it is. They're coming for you and you have to expect that and you have to understand that. But unfortunately, there are still people that are doing music like the example that we're going to bring up right now, who is in a popular band and he did the ultimate no, no, and he folded like an absolute coward. Let's continue on. So Mumford and Sons, Winston Marshall, uh, uh, taking time away from the band. So he's walking away. He did put up a tweet. I think he deleted like all of his tweets and he has this one post because he praised a conservative and Andy, what is it, Andy Gill? And he praised his book, if I'm not mistaken. And he even came out with a statement, which was goddamn stupid. And of course, they say, it, of course, right, uh, Rolling Stone is going to present it as the, him in the worst Worst possible way, a right wing provocateur who condemned Antifa. Winston Marshall, as it says, um, he steps away. And what he, what's how he apologized. He says, over the past few days, I have come to better understand the pain that I have caused in the, by the book I endorsed. I have offended not only a lot of people I don't know, but also those closest to me, including my bandmates for that. I am truly sorry. As a result for my action, of my actions, I'm taking time from the band to examine my blind spots. So he does something. The mob comes from him, comes for him for having a slightly uh, different position or rather supporting something that they feel that he's not supposed to support. And here we are. He deleted the tweet. In fact, Marsha had deleted all of the tweets on his account, which I saw that. And this is what happened. Marshall, he, he congratulated him. Um, and it was the book was it's called Unmasked Inside Antifa's Radical Plan to Destroy Democracy. Finally had the time to read your important book. You're a brave man. So he read the book. He called him a brave man. The mob came from him, said, how dare you support this Asian man who has been doing a lot of undercover work? Especially when it comes to Antifa and, and everything it is that they do. We, if you follow them on, I don't necessarily follow them. I see a lot of tweets putting a spotlight on a lot of that sort of stuff. And he said, hey, man, this book, uh, I read it. You're a brave man. Like, he wrote a book. You called him brave, which is obviously your position because you read it. And then it all of a sudden is not your position because the mob came for you. And they got mad and they're upset and they're distraught. What, because you like the book? See, Winston should understand that these people are irrational. These are irrational people for people to say, you just like the man's book. You like Dandy's book. And because they... Or rather, what he does, I guess they don't like the fact. I don't know what the hell. They don't like the fact that he's covering Antifa. How dare you do that and be in a popular band? The fuck? What is this? See, this is how these people continue to gain power. It's because of stuff like that. They attempt to. It's not even a shame. It's like applying social pressure. It's not like shaming uh, using that as the pressure itself. It's more of. Okay, we're just going to tell you how mad and upset we are. See, a man that again had conviction would be like, you'll get over it, bro. 
Now me, you know, but guys like me, I just double down. I was like, oh, that made you mad that I did that? Oh, I tell you what, uh, I'm gonna I'm really rant and rave about it now. That, that's what I would do. Now I haven't read this book. I'm not gonna do it do it for this uh, uh for, for his book. But you get what I'm saying. Like when the mob comes for me, which they have, I've been canceled. What probably what five six times uh 2021 so far. Is it early? We still got time. But it's nothing. Doesn't mean anything. Because they're gonna come for you either way it goes. And you have to understand that. You have to be anticipating that. And the more people that we have that just say, you know what, I don't care. They'll realize, okay, this is not impactful. But the reason why that is a deployed tactic is because it gets you to do stuff like that. And you bow down, you bend a knee for freaking liking Andy, uh, 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 a man's book on uh, uh, about Antifa and their plan to destroy democracy, which by that title alone, I will say, Andy, you are giving them way too much credit. Like if I if I read that title and knowing what I know, I'd be like, oh, you think Antifa was up to some good. So don't give them too much. You're giving them way too much credit. Nonetheless, the only problem here is that we know that Andy highlights bad things that the left does and they don't like it. So they got mad. And they set their sights on you because you said, I read it, man, I liked it. It was brave for doing that because you ain't have to do it. And they said, whoa, Clutch Pearls, we're mad now. So what? Tell them to get over it. They'll get over it. It's just words, man. It's just words. It's just words, man. They'll get over it unless you feel like you were actually wrong. Which I doubt he does. He's just, okay, it's a mob and uh, I'm caving in. He wouldn't have said it if he, if like, that was just a basic thing. Like, okay, you read the book, you consumed the information in the book, you liked it and you thought he was brave. That doesn't change ver based, uh, on social pressure. That, that wouldn't change. You have to still feel that way. The only thing happening right now is that you're caving into the mob, right? This is why I said the only time I would ever apologize to somebody is if I actually did or said something wrong or incorrect. Right. And I've and I actually believe that I did it, which is an easy thing for me to do. I apologize all day long, um, but I won't apologize for just merely offending you or because you don't like the fact that I did something that I won't apologize for. That's your problem. That ain't mine. But if I if I'm actually wrong in what it was that I was doing from a moral perspective or a factual one, then fine. We'll talk about it, you know, and it's whatever. We'll apologize. Kick the, we'll look that, I, can, I can do that. That's fine. But for you just not liking the fact that I liked someone's book. It's like when people got mad when I interviewed back in the day, I interviewed uh, Sheriff David Clark. Alongside also uh, interviewed um, Rachel Dolezal. And you get people more so for the Sheriff David Clark thing who are like, well, how dare you, you, you interview him? And this was back when, you know, I was actually doing like more journal. It was like my journalistic duty uh, to, to, to have that interview. And it was a more objective interview um, than it was anything. It wasn't me debating him on 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 every. That was the point of the interview. And people got mad. And you know what I did? I didn't care. And they got over it. They only have power because you allow them to have power. And the minute that people wake up, especially in that space, because I would argue that we need non leftists or people that under like, that know that there's a, there's other a larger conversation to have, especially in the music space. That is a very necessary thing. And he put his nuts on the table. And said, "Nah, bro, I said what I said. Muffet and Sons record sales probably would have went through the roof, by the way, uh, but no. If he just did it, he'd have been fine. But that's not what he did. Instead, he put his nuts on the table and he chopped them off. Unfortunate.